Michigan Republican Congressman Mike Rogers chairs the House Intelligence Committee and is a former FBI agent and joins us now from Capitol Hill. Uh, Congressman, thanks very much for being with us. Let's talk about the leaks and your concerns. Do we have any, any indication that they came directly from the White House and could even have been blessed yeah. by the president? Well, here's the problem, uh, Andrea. You see this whole panoply of leaks. It started early on, and it's a whole host of them, and that's what rises to the level of such concern where you have even you know, Democrats raising questions about the origins of these leaks. And so we know a couple of things. The most damaging, and I would argue, Andrea, these are some of the most damaging uh, leaks to our national security probably in my lifetime, a serious, serious consequences. So in some of the leaks, it showed that it had to have a high level of clearance, access to covert action information, and access to the situation room. And as an investigator, old FBI investigator, I can tell you that narrows that pool pretty closely. As we would say, that's a clue about where you can start uh, looking for where these leaks may have originated. And I think that's why all of this speculation, both on Republicans and Democrats, that it may have come out of the White House. Well, we're talking about the a number of books, including David Sanger's book, about the covert operations against Iran's nuclear program, uh, Stuxnet, and other things. He has said that he had foreign sources, uh, so he's not going to identify his, his sources, obviously, but we know that he has reported from Germany, from Israel, from other places as well. Uh, is it fair for the Republican nominee to blame the president personally for this? Well, I think here's what I think. Uh, I, I think there's some frustration here. And I think, again, you saw that with Senator Feinstein the other day coming out saying, boy, it sure looks like it came out of the White House. Is there was an opportunity for the president, I thought, to really put a halt to this, to come out right after the series of very damaging leaks and say, not on my watch. If someone's doing this, they should be held accountable. We're going to cooperate fully with the investigation. And I'm telling my people right now uh, that if they're leaking information, stop it. It's a crime. None of that happened. So it was kind of this loose meld into we didn't leak the information and then no pushing on the investigation to move forward. And I think that's a mistake that the president made and it leads credence to all of this. I think the president could put this to bed. He comes out and gives a very strong statement uh, that he'll cooperate fully with the investigation uh, and that he is sending a strong message to the people that work for him that this will not be tolerated. It's nothing that he sanctions. I think if he does that, we can put a lot of this to bed. And I, I'll tell you why it's important, Andrea, because there's still lits, bits and pieces coming out that are really troublesome to the, to the guy who's supposed to keep secrets here in Capitol Hill. We need to send a very clear message. You cannot do this. It risks lives and it risks uh, our national security uh, about getting the information we need to keep America safe. Uh, Congressman, one of the big criticisms from the Romney camp, from uh, Governor Romney himself, was that they have not investigated this with an independent counsel. Do you have a problem with the fact that two very well-known prosecutors, one of whom was a Bush appointee, have been uh, appointed to investigate this? You know, I, I'm not going to question the credibility of the people that were appointed. I do think it's the, the confines of what this is makes it very difficult for these uh, prosecutors and their investigators, the FBI investigating it, uh, to move forward. If you're going to do this correctly, you have to be talking to people who are working in and around the National Security Council at the White House. Uh, that's, that's a hard thing to do when that's in your chain of command. It may even go to the Attorney General. It could go into Department of Defense. So you've got two folks who are junior to the Attorney General looking at two very individual uh, specific cases of leaks uh, and knowing that they may or may not have full uh, availability in a way that the investigation should take it. And I'm, the, I'm of the camp that says you should follow that lead wherever it goes. If you're going to conduct a thorough investigation, if it takes you to the White House, so be it. If it takes you to the Attorney General or to the Department of Defense or any other department in the federal government, so be it. Uh, that, we're a little concerned, and I'm concerned. I was willing to give them some lead time up front, but I'm starting to get concerned that that's not happening, and that's what I think has got so many concerned. Mike Rogers, thank you, Mr. Chairman.